Hello, dear friend. This is Ewell Humphreys, and I'm speaking to you on a subject that I've entitled Having Nothing or Very Little and Yet Possessing All Things. Having very little in this world's goods, but yet possessing all things. I want to read to you a scripture that's found over in the book of the Psalms, and this scripture it, it teaches us the value of the things that money cannot buy. That we are really, we are really over in the 127th Psalm and says, But there is a man that trusts in his own riches, and he does not believe in God. He's trusting in his own riches. He don't need God. He has everything he needs himself. So he's just trusting in what he has. But the, but the psalmist says, But I am like a green olive tree that grows in the house of God, and I depend upon him for everything. I'm like a green olive tree in the house of God, and I'm going to blossom and bloom for him, and I'm not going to depend on anything more than him. And so it's important that we put our trust in the Lord and not in riches. Put your trust in the, in the Lord for his mercy rather than the world and the money. Trust in the Lord and you'll find that somehow everything is going to work out. You're going to be able to make it. Your bread will come. Your water will be sure. And you'll go on and you'll have all you need because our God will supply all of your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. The Lord loves you and he's going to take care of you. He knows what you need and he's going to provide a way for you to secure that. He knows that you are in time of, of need and he's right there saying, don't you worry. For I am here. My cupboard, my cupboard is full and I have riches untold. And so trust the Lord. When things get tight, don't worry. He's just trust, trying. He, he's bringing you through deep waters, but you're going to find the shore. You will not go under because you belong to God and he's going to get you through. He has a way for you that no one knows but him and you to find out. So trust him now and know that all is well. Maybe you've just lost your job. Don't worry, you've never lost the Lord. He's with you and he's going to bring you through. And you'll find something. If you're not restored to the job you had, you'll find something even better. Look up. Keep going. God is with you. You may have very little now, but you possess all things as a Christian. Thank God. Over in the Bible again, we read in, in, uh, in the book of uh, 2 Corinthians, it says that Christians sometimes are sorrowful, yet always rejoicing. Sorrowful over something that breaks your heart at times and is a problem to you, but always rejoicing. Rejoicing that even in sorrow, you are his. Even though you're, trouble, you're in trouble, hot on the boat and the storm is raging, He's in the boat with you, and all is well. And so we're sorrowful, yet always rejoicing. Yet as poor, and make, yet making many rich. You may be poor, but by the grace of God, you can make others rich by bringing them to Jesus, by influencing them for Christ, and helping them to see their need of the Lord. And there will be great rejoicing in heaven. The Bible says it has having nothing and yet possessing all things. You may have very little in this world, dear Christian, but you possess all things that really count. You possess life, eternal life, that you can't ever buy with money. You're never going to die. You're going to live forever, and you're going to be in good health forever. Praise God. You'll never know pain, no worry, no fear. No way that you're ever going to know anything that bothers you physically. Praise the Lord. Healed and healed forever. Possessing all things. You are rich in that you have a home in heaven. And where you'll never grow old. Where you'll live forever and sign, sign those papers of, of adoption and know that you are his forever. And you're going to walk in light because God is light. And you're going to love him and love others because God is love. 
and he lives in you. Oh, praise God. You have great riches. You have great riches. The Bible is rich. The Bible is a gold mine. Every time you read it, you're digging out gold nuggets. Let it be yours to know that the hand of God is upon you. The church is rich. The church is a, is a body of Christ spiritually. So be a part of the church. You will find a perfect church because it's made of, of imperfect people. But praise God, we have a perfect leader. And the hand of God is upon him and upon us. And the leader is Jesus. And we're part of him. And so praise God, we have great riches. We have Christ and he is rich. Hallelujah. And so we thank God for that. I'm grateful for that. Oh, praise the Lord. Over in the book of Ephesians, Paul said these words that are, are important to us. He says, I have been called to preach. I, who am the least of all God's saints, has been called to preach the gospel and the riches of Christ, which are unsearchable. The riches of Christ, which are unsearchable. And so praise God, dear Christian, you have riches that are unsearchable. So many that you can't count them. So many that there's not enough dollars in the world to pay for. Unsearchable. Thank God you belong to the Lord. Thank God you love the Lord Jesus. Thank God that the Holy God Father is your God and you're his child. Thank God that you belong to Jesus and the Holy Spirit lives in you. And you have that which is better than money. Having very little, I'm here, but possessing all things. I'd rather have Jesus than silver or gold. I'd rather have him than have riches untold. I'd rather have Jesus than houses or lands. I'd rather be led by his nail-pierced hand than to be the king of a vast domain or to dwell in sin's dread sway. I'd rather have Jesus than anything this world affords today. I'd rather have Jesus than men's applause. I'd rather be true to his dear cause. I'd rather have Jesus than houses or lands. I'd rather be led by his nail-pierced hand than to be the king of a vast domain or to dwell in sin's dread sway. I'd rather have Jesus than anything this whole world affords today. Amen, and God bless you, and God give you strength. Pray this brief prayer with me to be sure that you belong to him. Say, dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he paid for all my sins. And I believe he rose again. And I believe he's coming back. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus. Help me live for you. Amen and amen. Find you a good church. If you haven't been and baptize and follow him and worship him with God's people. Do it because you're saved and born again. Amen. You that are Christians, it's good to pray every morning you get up and say, thank God. Thank God that I'm rich. I have all I need. I'm just going to live this day trusting God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God loves you and I love you. Amen.